What's up everybody, it's your boy Space Stonks and today we are gonna talk about one of my favorite stocks, one of my favorite companies. I've been holding Starbucks for many years. Did flip Starbucks at one point, but I've held some shares. I bought it initially back in a day, a big bulk of it for under $50. That was uh, summer 2018 and I knew it was gonna go over 100. I always tell the story on my live streams, $99 a year later, sold a bunch of it, made a great profit, but still held a lot of it in another portfolio. I love Starbucks for many reasons. I can get into it in another day. I already talked about it many times to my audience in live streams, but I'm telling you guys right now, in my opinion, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a retail investor and I can see the future. Yes, I'm predicting this. Should you buy Starbucks? I was saying at 111, it was an amazing deal the other day. Yes, Starbucks had bad earnings. Companies sometimes do bad earnings. It happened the other day. Drove the stock down a couple of points, but not, not a big deal in my humble opinion. It goes down a couple of points. It didn't make it. It failed to meet expectations. Starbucks stock falls as sales growth fails. Yep, that's what happened. And it created an opportunity. It dropped more than 1% uh, in the extended session on Thursday afternoon. That was a couple days ago. And uh, I am here today on a Thursday. So that was last week. So uh, after the special specialty retailers, sales growth slowed in the fiscal fourth quarter and came in below the company's and Wall Street expectations. Starbucks is worth so much money. The dividend just went up. It got approved by the board. It's great. So if you know, you know what a dividend is, right? If you have shares, you know what I'm talking about. Starbucks SBUX is the ticker. It's worth so much money. I think long term, it's going to really do amazing things. There's going to be setbacks at some point. Of course, the company is now about officially 50 years old. And if you look at the ticker, just look at the ticker in the last five years. It's amazing. It's astounding. It's going up and up. Just hold on. If you're holding, in my opinion, you should hold. You should never sell red. And I think if you're looking to make a quick swing trade on it, that could be more. It could be more likely it could drop a couple points soon but it's going to rally, it's going to go back up. And in my humble opinion, it's been a long time, a few years now, since it's split, it's gonna go back up. Like I, I made a previous video a couple months ago, and it's going to split. You just have to have patience. So if you're looking for a long-term investment, I believe Starbucks is definitely going to deliver. People are hooked on this stuff. I don't think any, you have to understand, there's so many people, even the kids. I see, I go into a Starbucks, I see mothers giving their children sugar shots and yes of shots of sugar you know pumps all types of drinks all types of secret menu secret unicorn items going on they're always flipping the script they're changing it up they're giving you all sorts of uh trendy things and yeah i know recently there's a tiktok video showing you how to get cheaper former starbucks barista reveals menu hack for ordering dirt cheap lattes i feel like this video was made for me someone wrote according to yahoo life comments on it but uh that's fine i do it once in a while i love starbucks but hey i'll go into a store into a starbucks store and i will buy um two shots of espresso that's right and i'll get the milk i'll ask hey can i have some half and half i'll get the half and half if it's summer i ask for a cup of ice i'll make my own little latte taste the same and i'll put the milk in over the two shots and boom you save some money i'm just saying you know, this is not gonna, my, that that video and my uh, words on this is not gonna change what people do across the globe. Starbucks is everywhere. Starbucks has people hooked on this stuff. They're addicted to it. They're not just simply going, I prefer a straight up coffee or some shots. That's just my preference. But there's people that go to Starbucks just for the sugary drinks, the kids. They don't even care about coffee. They go in and they get their whipped creams, they get their frappuccinos, they get their straw, whatever they, whatever specialties they have, they get anything. They buy their um, they buy their brownies and they chill. And they go there for hours and they talk, you know, they, it's by, you know, stores that they like when they're shopping, things are coming back. The world is going to come back to normal and you know what I'm talking about from March, 2020. So things are looking up I love the chai, chai latte idea with an espresso shot, a shot of espresso. By the way, 
I made this up years ago with just regular tea. I dumped a long, long time ago. I dumped an espresso into uh, uh, some powerful tea that I enjoy. I like the breakfast blends and I tried it and my friends were laughing at me. I'm talking about 2007. So, uh, you know, I've thought of these things before. But the point is, if you're looking for a swing trade, because a lot of people are looking real quick to get rich, I know, and they want the quick money. I get it. I get it. I get it. You might want to chill for that for a minute and wait for a Starbucks to drop a couple points and then grab it again and then make your swing trade. I know a lot of people don't have 100 right now. It's 100 today, $115. I know a lot of people don't have that sitting around, so you, you might want to wait again if you want to watch it dip back down to 111, 112, but Starbucks is definitely going to run a long term. In my world, a year isn't long, two years isn't that much, and if you hold on to a Starbucks stock, you're definitely going to reap the benefits, the rewards. So that's what I'm talking about today. I love Starbucks. It's just, I look, oh, I'm telling you, I go to Europe no matter where I'm at. And I go, even today, there's lines down the block by me, even where we're at in 2021, it's unstoppable. People are so hooked on this, they're going to make earnings again. It's just one of those things where it didn't beat expectations as far as the company making their sales growth, but the apps are looking good. They did very well with the apps. I think in the future, they're also going to add, add cryptocurrency which is going to be really cool to payment and things are going to be really good so if you look at 2021 starbucks uh said it's global comparative sorry it's comparable stores sales increased 20 percent most thanks to 10 percent increase in average ticket and a nine percent increase in comparable transactions so there's some positivity things there's some positive things here in july the company said full fiscal 2021 same store sales would grow between 20 percent and 21 percent starbucks said wednesday this was last week it was raising u.s employees wages to at least 15 dollars and up to 23 per hour and making other changes to improve working conditions in its stores forever trying to improve and they're tweaking their apps they're tweaking things to get ready for the future like i said i think personally speaking speculation on my behalf but i think they're going to accept cryptocurrency at some point i actually went into starbucks had a discussion about that with an employee but you know this is according to market watch what i was just reading you so i just want to give them a plug and uh shares of starbucks have gained six percent so far this year compared with an advance of around 22 percent for the s p 500 index spx 0.5 58 percent um the point is what i'm just trying to make overall i truly believe i could see the future with this because it's kind of a no-brainer that starbucks is not going to implode or erode it's going to explode to the very next money make it rain episode i think starbucks is going to be dope like it is today and i think it's very attractive i know a lot of young people coming up under millennials um, all age ranges from from boomers on down generation X millennials are getting Starbucks today um, The most recent visit to an actual physical store for me in a Starbucks two visits one was was an NYC another was in a, a New York suburban mall Both of them had really long lines the stores were full and it's really looking good. I had to wait online and I like to wait online when I go to Starbucks because there's shares that I'm not trying to sell for a very long time. I'm just keeping in and taking the dividends in and the, the dividends are healthy and they're growing and I'm looking forward to the day that they go even higher. Inevitably, one day, the dividends hopefully will be a dollar. Don't know, know how long that's going to take, but it's going to be several years. But the good thing is if you're, like I said, if you're just looking to make a quick buck, wait I think that you can wait on that and if you look at the growth here overall long term not just one quarter not just one you know earnings period we got a lot of momentum going for us so that being said personally speaking I'm gonna add to my Starbucks stocks when they go down I missed an opportunity last week I did I was sleeping I wasn't looking and I missed an opportunity so I want to add some more shares to my long-term portfolio so that being said i wish you all the best happy trading make sure you invest wisely do your own due diligence don't listen to youtubers like myself and just run with it make sure after you listen to someone like myself that you go in and do your research before you make any moves like that I, you know just saying all right everyone 
I'll be back with another new video soon. I think I'm gonna talk about Apple next because that's another great company that is going to grow even more. It's your boy Space Donks. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Peace, I'm out.